He's one of the most misunderstood figures of the 20th century. At the very heart of his papacy is whether Pope Pius XII did enough to save Jews from the Holocaust. I want to start a personal investigation into Pius XII. A film titled Shades of Truth, which was previewed in the Vatican, delves into his life and legacy by combining a story of love, confusion, faith, and even fear. The story, though, is about more than just entertainment. I met people who knew him. I met people saved by him. I met descendants of people saved by him. The film's director says the late pope saved more than 800,000 Jews, from ordering the opening of parishes and convents as underground shelters to putting the Holy See's diplomatic ties to the test. He asked me to attach Portuguese visas to a bunch of passports. Pius XII has often been criticized for not publicly condemning the Holocaust. Doing so, he reportedly feared, would place the lives of even more Jews at risk. But behind the scenes, Pius XII was making things happen. So many times they say, no, he was wrong, he didn't do that, he didn't speak aloud. Even if he saved some Jews, but he didn't speak aloud. Let me tell you this, I prefer him to save some Jews some lives instead of saying something. I prefer facts against words. The, the whole background, the whole story, the whole history was something that, that I wasn't aware of, or at least not uh, uh, in that shape and form. I, I just didn't have all that information. So, you know, for one, it was a learning experience for me. The canonization process of Pope Pius XII is currently open. He was declared a venerable of the church, which is the first step in the canonization process, back in December 2009 by Benedict XVI. The film is also scheduled to be shown in this year's Cannes Film Festival.